I'm gonna rebuild the food pyramid. Every time I see one of these food pyramids going around, uh, it just like literally makes me crazy because I don't agree with it. So if I was gonna rebuild the food pyramid for you and tell you what the building blocks of your meals and what your day should look like, here's how it would go. The bottom, green veggies. Green veggies. This is gonna help with digestion and your body. It's gonna help keep you full with the fiber and it's gonna give you all those nutrients that your body needs. So green veggies, like 60% of your plate, 60 to 70% of your plate should be green vegetables. And then moving up from there should be lean proteins. Proteins are the building blocks of your body. It's how your body repairs itself. So next in line is lean proteins. And then moving up from there, it's complex carbs. Complex carbs are different than simple carbs. Simple carbs like breads and candies and stuff like that that's on the old food pyramid that spike your insulin and do a bunch of crazy things in your body that we don't want happening. Complex carbs don't spike your insulin and your body actually uses them as fuel. This includes like sweet potatoes and quinoa, like brown rice, uh, potatoes, beans. Oh, like all those sound so good. And the next spot on the food pyramid for me would be your healthy fats, right? Like your avocados, all of your nuts, uh, your nut butters, like almond butter and coconut oil and things like that. So that's what I believe your food pyramid should look like. Get rid of this candy section, get rid of this dairy stuff because our bodies aren't good at digesting dairy. Get rid of all this stuff and go with this food pyramid and build each of your meals with that type of percentage of the pyramid Build each of your meals that way. The most on your plate should be your green veggies, and then the second most should be your lean proteins, and then your third most should be your complex carbs, and then your least most, but still really, really important is your healthy fats. And build each meal with those components there, and you don't have to worry about like your diet and meal planning. Like if you have each of those components, you will lose weight, you will be healthy from the inside out, and these are the foods that are actually important for your body to use as fuel, to where it can operate efficiently, it can let go of that excess fat, and you can feel good, look good, and have great energy.